So, hello and welcome back. And this time I just wanted to show you how to configure NVIM exactly like I did. And I will use this configuration and maybe update it um, um, to be used throughout these, this video series. And the install instructions, uh, basically you can find the configuration here on my GitHub. Uh, um, slash nvim that is and basically first it requires to be packed um, packer to be installed so for that we can use paro and first of all search for packer let's see Um, but we can already see it's packer.nvim, so let's use this command to install it, enter our password. Let's see. Let's see, um, maybe let's call it differently. Um, yeah, exactly this one. So let's do this and then take our kit. Package so that might take a short while, but it's done now. Yep, it's done. So after that, we can run this command which will download my configuration um, note here that the old nvim configuration will be deleted so back up any previous configuration if you want to keep them and now <clears throat> we have a new nvim setup I just want to show you real quick how you can update it. If you go into, oh, I'm already in config. So if you, as you can see here, um, I'm here in the config directory. And now if I go to Envim, then we will have a git folder here so that means i can use git pull to um, update it and all the git commands to keep in sync with uh, this repository and now let's take a look at how it looks like so for that maybe let's take a look at readme file And yep, 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 yep. Forgot some things. All right. What we want to do is um, Packer Sync first. And this will update a lot. So let's see, that's installed now. So let's break out of it again and let's see if it has changed. And there, there we have it. 